ECDL Advanced Word Lesson 66. This is the start of the mail merge section and we'll today be editing a data source. Often the same data source will be used with any number of main documents over a period of time. So it must be well planned and kept up to date. For example, a mailing list data source will have to be edited when contact details or addresses are changed. For the purposes of this lesson, start a new blank document and view the mailings tab. Choose Start Mail Merge and select the Step by Step Mail Merge wizard. On the right hand side we will then be taken through the various steps. For the purposes of this please accept the defaults on steps 1 and 2 so we're going to accept that this is letters. We're also going to set up the letters to use the current document and then next let's move to step 3. In step 3 Click Browse in the Use an Existing List section and we're going to locate the supplied data files. We want to select the file which is called Clients and you'll see it's clients.accdb, it's a database file. And click Open. We'll then see the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box. If we wish to edit the list, click on the data source in the lower left of the dialog box over here and then click the Edit button. The Edit Data Source dialog box is now displayed. Frida Jones, the first person on the list, has left the country. So let's select Frieda's record in the Edit Data Source dialog box and then click Delete Entry and then Yes to confirm. Frieda Jones is no longer on this list. Next, use the dialog box, the same dialog box, to locate the record for BB Computer Consultants. That's this one here, Brian Big. They have moved from 28 George Street to 49 George Street. So, let's click in, backspace to get rid of the 28, and put in the new number of 49. Then press Enter. Click OK to close the dialog box, and click Yes to update the recipient list. Next, click OK to close the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box and then close the document without saving it. Now open the document invitation from the Mailings tab Click Select Recipients, Use an Existing List. In the Select Data Source dialog box, locate the Supplied Data folder, which we've got here, and select the file called Contacts, and then click Open. Click the Edit Recipient List button, George Murphy has asked to be removed from the list. Select contacts.accdb in the lower left of the dialog box and click Edit. Select George Murphy's record, delete entry and confirm by clicking Yes. Then click OK to close the Edit Data Source dialog box and then Yes to save the changes and return to the Mail Merge Recipients box. 
as we can see, George Murphy's record has now been removed. Leave the mail merge recipients dialog box open for the moment and we're going to deal in the next lesson with how to sort a data source. Okay, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.